Hi everyone, I'm JD from We Love Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am a journaler, journal maker and teacher of journaling courses. And this is a video request from one of my beautiful subscribers wanting to see some of what I do in my journaling courses. So this is a video that I filmed for the Anchor Journal course. And I will just share a bit about what I'm doing, my process here and some tips and tricks and the ways that I journal. Hopefully um, you can just sit back and relax, watch my process and maybe pick up a few different ideas um, and some inspiration for your own personal creative journaling. So basically I am using an altered book journal for my anchor journal. It's just a book I got from an off shop or what you would call a thrift shop. And it's this beautiful recipe book with lovely cream thick pages and I would just rip out pages and cover the rips with some washi tape down the spine and then with the anchor course I my focus was on creating a really visual journaling style and using a lot of magazine images I also use photos and ephemera for my own life as well um, but yeah, a lot of the course was based on finding words and images from magazines to prompt uh, your own creative journaling. And so on the right hand side page, this is a page that I had pre-prepared. And here's a little tip um, that I often uh, share in my journaling courses about pre-preparing pages. So sometimes you might have a, an image or a photo or you just have an idea of what you want to put on the page but you don't necessarily know um, how it's going to look you don't know if you're going to finish it even you don't necessarily know if you want to journal on it or what you want to journal on it um, but you can just prepare the page and then it will hold the space I talk about this idea a lot in my journaling courses that our pages in our journal will hold the space for us and they will be there for us when we're ready to put down our words our thoughts, our feelings, our heart and our soul onto that page. So that's an example of a pre-prepared page on the right hand side. I knew that I wanted to write about something to do with the season I was in. Um, for the anchor course we were looking at all of our different anchors that could ground us, that could help us to um, find ourselves and I wanted to look at our anchor, like being anchored to the season we're in um, and obviously throughout our lives we'll be in different seasons so for me it was about knowing um, when we know what season we're in we're better able to um, have self-acceptance and acceptance of reality and just um, yeah I don't know come to terms with where we are and uh, gracefully and beautifully be in that place <laughs> it could be a painful place it could be a winter it could be you know, a dried season, but there is still, I believe anyway, beauty and good things that come out can come out of, you know, the dry and the dark places as well. And so, yeah, I was looking at seasons and because I love flowers and spring, my birthday is in spring. Um, and I love the idea of, you know, blossoms blooming and new life. Um, I wanted to decorate this page with spring images and have a sense of you know the florals of spring um, and so new life I guess that's what I was looking at like this transition of moving from winter to spring and uh, saying goodbye to the winter saying hello to the new life but not knowing what that looks like kind of thing um, and so yeah that's kind of that was my loose idea in my head but I didn't really know how to finish the page or what specifically to journal about but yeah that was the prompt what season are you in and how can you um come to terms with that season and be anchored to that season for that time um and then yeah it will hold the space so at a later time it could be a week later it could be a month later it could be a year later i believe that when you flip through the journal pages and you see you know a page that you've pre-prepared at the right time and the right place you'll just know oh I know what I want to put on this page now and that's what happened with this page and I share that in the anchor journal course um, 
a poem that I wrote. So when I came to this page, I would often flip through this journal regularly for the course, and um, a lot of the time I didn't, I still didn't not, not, I didn't know what to write on this page. But then one day, you know, at the right time when inspiration struck. Um, all of a sudden the words came to me in the form of a poem and yeah I had no idea that I would write a poem when I first created that page and prepared it but at the right time the words just came and that strip of pastel green paper on the right hand side of that page that's where I wrote down my little poem as a, a reflection of the season I was in and I love that 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 holds the that memory for me now because Obviously, I'm in a different season to where I was when I did this course and um, we'll always go through different seasons. But when we go through the pages of our journals, we can see whatever place we were in, whatever our thoughts were at that time, whatever we were going through is captured on those pages. And I love that. That's kind of frozen in time and there's this record of who you were at this time of your life and yeah, I don't know, I think <laughs> that's, I love journaling, I always have, and I think that was my biggest, mm, one of the biggest things that appealed to me about journaling is that it captures who you are at a specific moment in time, and so it's not lost, like, your memory might fade, and, you know, you think it's gone forever, but when you open your journal, you can read it or see it, and the memory comes back and you're taken back to that place or you're taken back to who you were at that time and I think that's so special I think that's worth documenting <laughs> um, and that's why I say my journals if that house was to you know be on fire and you had to grab one thing for me it's my journals because they capture you know my life <laughs> um, or stories or the moments or the memories um, and to me that's really important to have those things so yeah, anyway, I'm going on a bit of a ramble there. I have another tip as well, not just um, prepare pre-prepare pages. Um, another tip is to create for yourself a journaling toolkit. For me, I keep a basket of words and images from magazines, book pages, um, different papers, and I will go to this basket anytime I want to play in my journal anytime that I f feel inspired to create or inspired to journal but I don't, don't know what to journal I just pull out that basket and go hmm what's in this basket because in that basket it's only things that make me happy it's only things that I find are beautiful or interesting or inspiring so that basket is always going to give me a lot of material and a lot of inspiration to work with whenever I come to sit down to journal and I love filling it up um so I'll keep using it in my journals but also keep replenishing it so every time I get a Daphne's diary magazine for example I'll get my scissors and cut out words and images and chuck them into the basket I'll also rip out full pages from magazines full pages from books that I love um and yeah that basket is like a special place for me to go to for creativity for beauty for inspiration so if you haven't got a basket, or it doesn't have to be a basket, it could be a box or a tray or a drawer, um, but yeah, create for yourself your own basket. And you include, can include other things in there too, like photos from your life, ephemera, fabrics, laces, trims. Um, and that way you've got this go-to place that you can always go to for inspiration for your journaling. And I love replenishing it. I love using the items but also replenishing it and then anytime I look through that basket it's like oh what treasures will I find in here because it's only going to be treasures inside there um these polaroids these come from a kit in my Etsy shop they're the floral polaroid journal cards and this is my favorite one or one of my favorite ones from that kit I just think it's so pretty and soft and I wanted to include that photo or that Polaroid journal card somewhere in this journal. I don't know if I do it on this page. This video or process video, I it was a bit of a um hard work. It was a bit of an effort trying to figure out what I was going to do on the page. As you can see here, I try many different ideas. I pull out all different sorts of things 
play around with different background papers, different images, and I'm just trying to figure out what will work. Um, so some other little tips I have, if you're just umming and ahhing and it's not coming together for you, one tip is just to put it aside and come back to it the next day. Whenever I do that, I'll, I'll know the next day, like my mind will mull on it for the time that I'm away from it. And so when I sit down later on, I'll, my, it's like my brain just clicks and it's like, oh, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, and then the other tip is kind of the opposite tip is to just commit to something right then and there. Um, something to remind yourself is, you know, whatever you put on the page, it's at the end of the day, it's not going to hurt anyone. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to, not nothing bad is going to happen if you make a mistake on the page or if, um, you don't like what you put on the page. It's, it's all going to be okay, guys. It's going to be okay. <laughs> the journal is a place where you can just play and experiment and have fun and enjoy the process. So if you're just umming and ahhing and you're getting too caught up in trying to make it perfect, just commit. Just Sometimes I do that. When I find myself, I become aware, self-aware in the moment. I'm just like realizing what I'm doing. I'm realizing that I'm just wasting time. I'm realizing that I'm getting caught up in knots over nothing. And I realize that I'm just suffering for no reason. I go, okay, I know how to solve this. Just commit. It's not going to hurt anyone. Nothing bad is going to happen if I just put it on the page. And yeah, you can always cover it over if you really don't like it. But I like just letting it stand because I find that even if I don't like it aesthetically, it's still a true reflection of what I was creating, feeling at that time. And I much prefer genuine creativity than, you know, overly perfect, trying to place things perfectly. A case in point is when I do a page that's just spontaneous and could be messy, it could be mistakes, in when I look back at that page, I just go, I love this page because it captures just such authenticity and yeah, just the real and the raw. As opposed to when I do redo a page, like I'll do a draft and then I'll do it again proper. Whenever I look at those proper pages, yes, they look aesthetically pleasing and everything's perfectly in its right place, but I don't feel any authentic energy if that makes sense I and you notice it straight away like it's not like I'm analyzing the page thinking about it it's an instant recognition I can look turn the pages in my journal and instantly recognize when it's authentic as opposed to when it's been put together and and it's like there's a step between the creative process and I don't know if I'm explaining this very well but anyway all, all to say is when it's just pure creating on the page I find greater joy out of those pages when I look back at them and I don't feel that in the moment in the moment I'm just like oh well that looks dodgy it's only when I look back at it in a year's time or even like a week's time and I'm like oh I really like this page not because it looks perfect but because it captures something really authentic and real as opposed to when I look back at something and I'm like wow, I, tr- I worked so hard at this page and I planned it out perfectly and it looks great, but there's no, in a way it's sort of like there's no heart to it. It looks good, but it doesn't reflect my true creative energy at that time, if that makes any sense. And it, <laughs> um, I hope that encourages you to just create and journal with rawness, with realness, without worrying about being perfect and having it look amazing just that's not why we journal well (laughs) that's not why I want to journal anyway I don't want to journal something that looks perfect I want to journal something that is authentic and that feels true to me in the moment and when I look back at it later to go yes that captured something true um so yeah sometimes I get caught up with that though and I go fall back into my perfectionistic ways and whenever I go into those ways, one of the ways I one of the ways I intentionally choose to snap out of it is just to not care, like just journal because I'm having fun, and just put something on the page because I just want to put something on the page, not because I want it to be perfect, but because I'm trying to get in touch with that just real, authentic, 
joyous creative spirit anyway <laughs> so i hope that's what my journal courses do is encourage just a regular journaling practice of your own enjoyment from it of putting things that inspire you on the page and expressing your own heart and your own thoughts and feelings on the page and it doesn't matter if it looks beautiful or not it's just about that authentic joy and creativity so yeah that is my page spread that i finally did beautiful in every season and i hope you enjoyed that video i'll see you in the next special one thank you Thanks. to my beautiful patrons who supported me in february thank you thank you so much i could not do this without you it really means the absolute world to me and if you would like to become one of my patrons supporting my channel and willow Van journals uh, you can do that. The link is down below in the description box. That's where you get access to more videos, behind the scenes looks, personal updates, first access to my journals, printables. If you're a Ruby patron or higher, you get every single digital kit from my Etsy plus one new one every month. And you can also look in the descript description box below for links to my Instagram, Facebook group, um, uh, journal courses that I run and all the details are down there. If you'd like to contact me, you can do that with my email down below as well. And may you journal your life because your stories matter.